Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I don't want to leave any dye behind. In this dye bath I have a lot of acid. At one point there were over two cups of acid in there and a lot of dark navy dermot acid dye. I started with one half cup of a 1% stock solution and used some of it and I'm not quite sure how much is left but let's work on dyeing some yarn and I'm sort of got this dry yarn and I'm sort of dipping it in and oh interesting um, it's a lot paler um, what's left is a lot paler than what I thought um, a lot paler and a lot more sort of purpley um, I, it looks like there's like so much pigment in there and I was expecting it to be a lot darker than what it is, but I do really didn't want to leave any dye behind. This is actually rather helpful to see because, um, as I said, I thought that there was a lot more, goodness, I thought that there was a lot more color in there. And had I known that there was this little, um, I had just been attempting some glazing, you know, maybe I would have gone on and left the yarn in here. Um, but man, it also just shows how quickly all that color absorbed. Ooh, this is really, really pretty. I thought about combining this skein with some other leftover yarn that I had behind, but this is so pretty that I am just going to leave this in the pot as is <laughs> and let it absorb the color. This yarn is Dyer Suppliers 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, Fingering Weight Sock Yarn. Um, and ooh, it went in from being dry, uh, it went into this pot so, so easily. I am really, really happy uh, with how that has gone. Oh dear, I just accidentally tightened up my zip tie a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in the dye pot for 10 minutes and then I'll come back. I am so happy with how pretty this is. Let's see. Yeah, we have exhausted that color. Look at this beautiful, sort of a dusty purple. I mean, it really is what you would think of as a pastel navy um, that's, you know, got a little bit of warmth to it. But it does feel very lavender. Um, anyway, I'm going to set this aside for it to cool, and then we'll be back to wash it. Let's wash this sort of purplish yarn. I'm not expecting to see any bleeding at all because the dye dust did run completely clear. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I am just in love with this color dye. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of clear dish soap, um, but then I'm going to rinse that out and put this through my Nina Soft Spin Dryer and hang up the yarn to finish drying, and we'll come back to some conclusions. Here is the finished dry yarn, and this is really, really pretty. It almost feels gray. This yarn is so pretty. The color is very much like sort of a hazy, cloudy, stormy color. There is definitely some blue in here. It's not just gray, but something about it makes me think rain is coming. Dyer Supplier sent me this yarn for free to test out. And I did notice one small defect in it. It's not even a knot, it's just some of the plies just aren't completely spun. So for full disclosure, I wanted to point that out, but one kind of defect, one or two little defects or knots per skein um, are technically allowable by industry standards. And so this is not something that bothers me and would be really easy to sort of skip or remove um, if you did not want that in your project. In between the time when I was filming and now, I have become a dyer supplier affiliate. So if you want to learn more about the yarn base, um, you can find an affiliate link in the video description.
I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel, smash that bell icon to turn on notifications, and leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought. If you'd like to help support the content on the channel, uh, head over to the Chemnitz Creations Etsy store, which is filled with dozens and dozens and dozens of skeins of hand-dyed yarn featured in past and upcoming YouTube videos. I always have the title and publication date of the video in the item descriptions and you really should go check it out because sometimes there's a little bit of a sneak peek of what might be coming up. Thank you so much for watching.